professionals and developers from different streets. We are aware of historical injustice in our country that still manifests itself in inequality in income, wealth, services, assets, and opportunities. And that is why we continue to be steadfast on the implementation of the broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Program. This sector evolved from 5.3 trillion recently to 8.3 trillion in value, driven by both the expansion of residential market, which now boasts 7 million registered houses, and a resilient commercial sector that continues to drive. The retail sector, logistics, and the office space are bouncing back after the challenges of COVID-19, reaffirming the importance of this sector in the economy. From a policy perspective, the development of public works and infrastructure drive growth, inclusion, and transformation through the property sector charter council. We view the transformation in the property sector as an essential motto of South Africa's journey toward a just society. The transformation of the sector requires collaboration of many stakeholders. Currently, the department is coordinating a countrywide consultation on the draft construction industry development board with the objective of professionalizing the sector. And this focus is on three areas compel the registration of contractors. Whether you are in a public or private space, you must be registered with CIDP. And we will want, therefore, to ensure that Africans and Blacks in general participate in the development of these properties. We have tasked the property management trading entity in the department to lead effort of resuscitating and revamping these buildings through public-private partnerships. And this focus on two areas. The first area is renovate, operate, and transfer. There is a triple P where government builds and say operate. There is a triple P where government says build, operate, and transfer. There is a triple P where government say this is our building, renovate it. So that's how triple P's work. You should consider establishing the KZN Black Property Developer Fund. There are two funds that exist in Wazulu Natal. Check KZN Operation Vula Fund. The KZN Youth Fund. The applications are still on. You can apply even now. I want to emphasize collaboration. If we work in an uncoordinated manner, we end up competing for even opportunities that we could have access distributed equally amongst ourselves. Shouldn't we consolidate ourselves to say, if there is to be a more there, let us consolidate ourselves to participate as well. Not only to be builders, which is good, provide labor, technical skills, but also to own. Big conglomerates must invest in your organization as part of their corporate social investment. But that will only happen if you are united and working together in order to go far than to go a short distance. We hope that each and every year we will have individuals who will come and say, I came here empty-handed, but today I own this property. I came here with no skills, but today I have this particular skill. I thank you.